Hello friends and welcome back to the horror section. This is going to be a pawn shop pickups video and this is just showing a few things I picked up at the pawn shop. You know, just a few cool looking things I got. And uh, I got some pretty interesting stuff, so here we go. First off, to add to my uh, Anchor Bay and my Dario Argento uh, collection, as you can see, Anchor Bay. I picked up uh, Jennifer here. And I watched this a long time ago. I thought it was pretty interesting. It's a pretty cool movie. Not too bad. But like I said, I think it's one of those little short movies, if I'm not mistaken. They made a few of those, like they were like maybe 45 minutes to an hour long. But a lot of different uh, really good uh, directors were in these, the Masters of Horror. I guess it was like a TV show, so they had to make them, you know, just uh, pretty much in less than an hour length or whatever. And they had some pretty decent ones. This was a pretty good one. Of course, this one's coming with the slip cover here from Walmart, so that's pretty cool. So that's Dario Argento's Jennifer. And of course, like I said, Anchor Bay. Here's one I don't know too much about. Torment. Welcome to the family. Equal part psych psych uh, psychological and brutal. So I have no idea. It looked kind of interesting. Hair raising. So they're they're uh they're they they own like a bunny farm, hair raising. No, nah. but uh, this and this one might be pretty good. Like I said, I've never never heard of it. I'm not really for sure about it. So if you have anything to say about this and if you've seen it or not, like I said, I just done got it for a trade. So like I said, looked pretty interesting. So that's torment. I've actually I've actually had this one before, but I found it at a pawn shop. I don't know if it's the same copy. Like I traded it away, so I don't know if the person took it to the pawn shop because it's kind of an odd uh, odd set here. It's got uh, the Red Queen kills seven times, the Fifth Chord, uh, seven notes in black, and don't torture a duckling. And uh, they're pretty good little movies. I really like this one, the uh, Seven Notes in Black. It's a pretty decent movie. And of course, this one's uh, Luciano. I guess how you say it, Fulci, Luciano Fulci. And I don't know how you pronounce that guy's name. And this guy. So they've got the good Italian, uh, I guess, directors here on this. So it's a pretty cool, pretty cool little set. It uh, it's six hours and twenty eight minutes for these four. And they playable in all regions, so that's kind of cool. Killers on the Loose collection. Pretty neat little set. Here's another one that I didn't really eyewitness. So I don't really know what this is. The Rank Collection. And this is from VC, uh, I think VCI. And they do a few pretty decent kind of movies. So I just thought I'd pick this up. I never heard of this, and it looks kind of interesting. It looks like a thriller from a uh, pretty good while ago, I guess, 1956, of course, in black and white. Looks like a thriller-type movie. So it might be pretty good. I usually enjoy those. Me and my wife might have to watch this because we like the uh, black and white thriller mystery kind of movies. They're usually pretty fun. Like I said, I don't think I've seen this in this eyewitness movie, so this might be pretty good. So that's Eyewitness. And this one's the uh, Boogeyman 5 movie collection. And you got Boogeyman, Boogeyman 2, 3, and then the old, the Boogeyman and Return of the Boogeyman. And the first three are the newer ones from the 2000s. And then they got the real old one from the, I guess the 1980s. Let's see if I can read on here. It's been so long since I've seen this one. And, of course, the uh, Return of the Big Boogeyman, which is almost the same thing as this one. I don't know. There ain't much. If I remember right, it's almost like they just kind of re, re-show this movie in clips and stuff. Like they, re, like they go back in memory and they check it out or whatever. Yeah, I mean, they're, it's, it's, they're pretty decent, these two, but nothing really to, you know, ride home about. But they're not too bad. I didn't really like the first one, but these other two are kind of all right. I didn't mind them too bad. But 
just figured I'd grab this, you know, you get, what, five movies for, in a little collection here. So I thought it was pretty cool. Boogie Man five movie collection. And here's one I don't really know too much about. Rites of Passage. So it's actually got Christian Slater and Stephen Dwarf in it, or Dwarf. So I don't know, I don't know too much about this. It looks pretty interesting. I guess that's Christian Slater with the, <laughs> I don't know, I don't know if this thing's any good or not. It looks kind of odd, but figured I'd grab it, just something kind of weird to watch. I let my dad check it out. Sometimes he likes these oddball movies like I do. But that's uh, Rites of Passage. And like I said, if you know anything about any of these movies, please write it down there in the comments. I'm kind of interested. Directed by the writer of Varsity Blues. So, and I don't know. Whew. Sex, drugs, and all the ancient ritual. Uh, what have I got myself into? Nah, it might be pretty good. You never know. Speaking of collections, the rest stock collection. Dead Ahead and Don't Look Back. And both of these, one's unrated, one's uncut, which is pretty much the same thing. But, uh, I don't know. I enjoyed these. They were pretty good. Like, like I know I've seen the first one. I, I think I've seen the second one. I'm not really for sure. If I, if I did, I remember I enjoyed it, but I don't think I watched it all the way through. I can't really remember. I think I watched it. I think they were on like maybe the sci-fi channel or some channel. And I might have hit, you know, watched it like started halfway through. And I remember I liked it, but I just can't remember that much about it. I mean, they're not the best movies in the world, but they're 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 pretty good. Pretty good enjoyment, you know, out of them. And of course, DC had this one, I guess, before I got it. So um, I got your movie, DC. If you want it back, uh, send me 10 bucks. No, I'm just kidding. But... Uh, I don't know. Might be pretty good. Like I said, I remember the first one was was pretty decent. And I'm thinking I've watched the second one, but I can't really remember. Rest stop the collection. And here we go. Trick or treat. This is like the second or third copy of this. And every time I get it, of course it's got Gene Simmons, Ozzy Osbourne in it. Every time I get it, like the the paper cover is like awful looking it looks like somebody i don't know just like threw it in the toilet or something i've got two of these the funny thing is i've got three copies of the cover here but i've got two discs because i went the one i found at another place was like this it just looked totally awful but one day i was in a uh, place that sells video games and movies and i seen this well i was going to grab it again just because it's you know it's kind of hard to find you know I'll grab another coffee. Maybe somebody might want it and I could trade it or something. Open it up because I always like to, at this place, you can just open it up and check the disc and see if it was in good shape. And it didn't actually have a disc in it. And the and it, it was actually in perfect shape. Like the paper cover did not look like this. It looked really good, really nice. Looked like it was brand new. So I went up to the dude. I said, you know, this one doesn't have a, a movie in it. He said, yeah, something people steal stuff in them all the time. I said, what would you just take for the case? Because I've got this movie, but my case looks like terrible crap, you know. And he's like, it doesn't have the movie in it, so just take the case. So the nice dude gave me the case. So I've actually got a real good cover of this, you know, that I took my crappy, you know, the my, my disc looks perfect. So I pulled it out of there, and I pulled it out of that and put into the... Uh, into that new case so everything looks good now i kind of switched them out so i've still got the i've still got an old crappy cover it looks just like this and now i've got two of them and a perfect one so that's my little story about trick or treat like i said it's a pretty decent movie not too bad but uh like i said i don't know why the i don't know people just died i don't know people never did take care of this one i guess like I said, that's odd me, you know, finding two of them that look like crap, you know, look terrible. Just like the, I mean, it looks exactly like this one does. That's why I'm glad that guy just let me have the case so I could kind of, you know, put my dice disc in a nice case. But, uh, trick or treat. And I don't know what this is. Red Hill. It just looked interesting. Revenge just rode into town. 
My dad kind of likes these off the wall, kind of looks like a Western, like a newer made Western. I have no idea. Might be pretty, pretty decent. I'm not really for sure. Looks very interesting. Might be a good movie. So if you've seen anything about, if you know anything about Red Hill, please comment below. It looks interesting, but I don't really know anything about it. It just looked kind of cool, so I grabbed it, let my dad watch it. And last but not least, I got the complete series of War of the Worlds in this, I guess, Walmart-looking case where you got all the discs inside there and these little things. I paid two bucks for this at a pawn shop. And it's going for, like, maybe 25 to $30 at Walmart. And the disc, the, the case looks perfect. The disc looked perfect. It's like they bought it, maybe watched it one time and said, I don't like this, and just sold it to a pawn shop and the dude sold it to me for two bucks because he wasn't i guess he weren't he wasn't thinking right he didn't think it was a complete collection i guess i don't know but like i said i, I wasn't gonna pass on it for two bucks pretty cool I'm trying to look at the date on it. the color on this one is so messed up here give me just a second I had to cut my phone out or uh, pause it because I could not, I cannot read this hardly. Even my phone, I think it says 1988 to 1990. And I don't really know that much about this. I've heard a couple people talk about it. I don't know if I've even seen this before. So that's kind of why I picked it up. It looked interesting. Like I said, if you know anything about this series right here, please leave it in the comments below. I'm, I just kind of got it because I mean, it's a whole complete set from Paramount for two bucks. So. Like I said, I don't really know that much about it, but like I said, it just looked kind of interesting. Earth continues its battle with a determined alien invasion force. So like I said, it looks pretty cool. And like I said, it's in perfect condition. It looks like it's brand new. They just put it in. They might have watched it, you know, and they was like, I don't want to watch it anymore or something and hey, just get rid of it. But I got two, paid two bucks for this, so that's pretty good. So that'll be it for my pickups video. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you uh, next time. Have a good one.